The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I'm going to bring a story uh, back from many, many years ago, back in 1988. It was around November 1988. I had just been to Switzerland and Italy uh, speaking to bankers about astrology and ABCD and patterns and stuff. And two of the young men there from Germany were bankers, and they asked me to come back to Frankfurt uh, about three weeks later, I was around the uh, second week in January, I was going to give a speech to some German bankers at different cities from Munich, Stuttgart, Berlin. There were a lot of different places. Actually, the people from Berlin were still in the Eastern Wall because that didn't end until uh, till, uh, November the 6th of, uh, uh, I think it was the 6th or the 9th, no, November 9th of uh, 1989. So, oh, well, you know what? It was 89. That's right. It was 89, but it was not till November, but they were still there. They could still, you know, go to meetings and stuff. But anyway, uh, we, we were giving, I was getting ready to give a talk and uh, first started Saturday morning. It's going to be a, a full day talk. And there were about 30 people in the room um, and four or five people that were helping, you know, make everybody comfortable and everything. And um, I started the uh, I started the, uh, the, 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 the talk about uh, get ready, folks. We've got a big lunar eclipse coming up next week. And I swear to God, half the people got up and headed for the door and I knew something was wrong and I yelled out to Marcus I said Marcus I said lock the door I said don't let anybody out and of course the German language you know certainly different than uh, broken Italian English what I have and they basically were saying that I had in the in other words in the German talk that means uh, you know what the little babies leave in their diapers <laughs> anyway they, they said no 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 and I finally they calmed everybody down took a few minutes maybe five minutes and I said look give me 20 minutes and if you don't like what I say, get up and leave. You know, so I, I left the astrology in the rough and I started with ABCD. And by the end of the day, uh, we had a really group, a nice group, group of people that invited me to do two days of live teaching with uh, real money. And I said, uh, you're, you, they're going to pay us, I believe it was $2,500 per person. And I think we had 10 people. And I said, I'll give you a money back guarantee. If we don't make uh, money on those uh, two days of trading, I said, I'll refund everybody and the people that invited me over there they were they were they were shocked because they thought that I was using their money but I was using my money and so that didn't make any difference anyway I have to tell you the story about how they got involved we we had it uh, um, it was it was in Frankfurt is where we did it at a hotel we had it we had 20 people that paid for two days and I picked two days uh, that were going to be really active. I, well, at least I thought they were. One was a Mercury retrograde. And uh, we, we had them broken down into five groups. There were 25 people, four in uh, five in each group, and each one did foreign exchange or whatever it happens to be. But the main part of what we're watching was the fact that we were looking at these things and I need to turn off the gold monitor, folks, here because the thing is beeping and it's driving me absolute nut bonkers. It's still going up, which was glad to see. Hold on one second. It'll just take me one second to do this. There it is. It's beeping here right now. As you can see, we're heading up here to 1999 where you want to take a really close look at it from the short side right up in here, folks. That's what you want to be looking at. 1999 in the old gold would be pretty good resistance, in my opinion. You wouldn't have to risk very much at all. So anyway, what I was getting back to is uh, I broke it up into five groups, and each group is a little different. But I have to tell you the story about one group uh, was grains, wheat, corn, and soybeans. Okay, And there was uh, soybeans were on their – they had been going down for like four weeks, and there was a major grain report out. And it looked like, oh, this is a this market's going to go down forever. But we did the work; they did the work, and just like we're looking at Apple here on the, the monitor here at around one between 164 and 162, we should be making a pretty good bottom in here. Well, we had a really big bottom due in soybeans, 15 cents lower. Well, there was a report due, and it was of course 10 o'clock 
in the morning U.S. time, so that was mid-afternoon or late afternoon uh, in uh, Switzerland, excuse me, in Frankfurt. And uh, son of a gun, if the re, uh, the people they were arguing, why we're not, we can't put this trade on, we can't put this trade on, it's too risky, too risky. And uh, and I say, why is it too risky? Well, the report could be real bearish. Says, yeah, but it might be the bottom. Look, you've got A, B, C, Ds there. You've got three of them, and you've got a big retracement. What's wrong with that? Well, they argued back and forth, and finally they realized that it wasn't their money; it was my money. So we were decided to trade two contracts, and so we bought two, and uh, they were real nervous. Uh, of the group, only two really wanted to do it. The other three said, ah, don't, we shouldn't do it, we shouldn't do it. Anyway, what happened was report comes out, and it was bearish. And it, they think they gapped the beans down 17 cents, and we had a buy at 15 cents. So we got long, and it immediately had about a 12-cent profit in it. And everybody was, you know, watching that and everything else didn't make any difference. We were trading Deutschmarks at the time because we didn't have the the access uh, to the euro. Well, the euro wasn't even trading then. That didn't happen until 99. Anyway, what happened was soybeans ended up the limit. And you wouldn't have believed the response that these dudes had. Of the five people, five groups that we had, these were the ones – that were the most proud and the buttons were popping off their shirt about how smart they were and how much money Larry made on the two contracts. We didn't have any losses. Well, we had, I think we had one small loss for the day. The next day was much better. But uh, that was the main thing is how they reacted to me was the most amazing thing, how they changed from being disbelievers to believers. Well, boys and girls, I went through that again this week. Uh, started out Sunday night. I'll show you where we were. I'm, remember, I'm dealing with the oil business, right? So here is crude oil. I explained to them about the big ABCD that was up here at the top. They saw that. And I showed them about the ABCD that was right there. And they saw that. And when I told them, I said, we have to get short oil. And they just, they, that just was two people actually left the room. And so, which was a surprise. I couldn't lock the door fast enough. But all I tried to do was do a little A, B, C, D, a little bit of Fibonacci. And, of course, we were always looking at the old uh, 3A2. And there it was right there on Sunday night, exactly at the 3A2 there at 88.20. Uh, risk 60 pips was right up here. The stop was at 88.90. You see it would have been right above the 618 retracement. And then, of course, the market started down and it continued to go down. We covered it down here. Uh, at the 83. By that time, the, it was too late. I'd lost more than half the audience. So there were six. Now there was only three. And at the end of the day, of the second day, we had didn't have any losses. Uh, had had a nice run. I mean, it wasn't spectacular, but that in itself was more than most people were ever looking at. Because you know, I showed them the other 382 was right here. He only missed this one, you see, by by 10 pips. From 66.25 to 86.25 to 86.35. Well, that's what we went through. It was uh, exciting, enjoyed it, and uh, but it was time to come home. And fortunately, I got a really nice message from Tom saying both of my fans at TFNN were asking about me. And so I said, by golly, I'm going to come back. And so I did, and I'm glad that I did because, folks, we're going to have something really big happening in these next couple of days. I don't know if it's today, tomorrow, the next day, but by Monday or Tuesday, Fat Lady's going to have the orchestra ready and everybody's going to be singing. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds, as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at Apple here. I've had two requests to really look at it closely. Now, here's where we are here. Now, you notice if you believe in Fibonacci, with I certainly do, you can see right here we had a beautiful 61% retracement off of that high. And if you look at it again, just move this over again, you'll see we had a 61% retracement of that high. Correct. Now, one of the things that I did is I tried to show the folks over there that, look, this is one of the most actively traded, if not, well, it's most widely held. But look at, I tried to show them all of the little ABCDs that were here through here. Now, not all of them worked, but most, uh, most of them did. But they were there, and I tried to, you know, show them what technical analysis is about. I gave them a little bit of, little bit of shake and bake of, uh, of uh, uh, Benoit Mandelbrot, a lot of shaking and baking of H.M. Gartley. And uh, no astrology, no, not happen. Anyway, let's see where we are with with the Apple, folks. Here's what we want to do. What we're going to do is we're just going to take everything off here, let everybody see what we're doing. We don't know anything about technical analysis. We'll get rid of this drawing tool right here. And all we're going to do, look at it is like common sense, okay? Now, common sense says that we believe in A, B equals C, D. We've already proven that to ourselves. If you don't believe it now, it's too late. Does it work all the time? Heck no. Does it work some of the time? Heck yes. Okay, we see from high to low took a certain amount of time, and then it rallied up to your 61% retracement. You see just a tiny bit above it, and then we came down. So the first thing you'd want to do in technical analysis is to see how many days it took to go down in the AB leg. So there's your AB leg. It took 23 trading days. Trading, these are trading days, folks. 23 trading days from point A to point B. So if that's the case, we should look for 23 trading days from point C to point D. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move this over here, and you're going to see that we're going to put that up here. It misses it by, uh, it misses it by about four, ooh, misses, misses about one to misses it by four trading days. But remember, time is most elusive, correct? So what we want to do is when we get time squared here so that we can see what we're doing, and we've got ratios there, that's what we're looking for. So we have that 
Oh, we've got one other A, B, C, D here. We've got to see it right here. You can see there's the number. There's the 1.6127 right now, but we're looking for 164. That's that's down three bucks from where we are right now. And we have another reason to think that that's going to be the case because if you look at this little five-day rally that we had here, if you measure from your A, B leg down to your C, lead, C, D leg, where does it come in here? Right about 164. And then we have another one coming in here. This one goes a little bit lower. There's your AB leg. CD leg comes in here at 160. So this is the area where you want to be looking to be a buyer of uh, uh, Apple because that's going to be a really nice move. You go back and look and see where it is on a longer-term chart. Just go in and go back and say, well, maybe these things do work. You're going to go back and take a look from your low right back here up to your high right there and look at this there it is right there folks 162 is there's your number it's a 1.618 expansion of that move it's a double abcd within two dollars it's set right at the 50 percent and i can't ask for anything more than that much better to be buying apple down here at 162 than would be up here at 196 correct pretty much the same thing the last thing we want to do is remember we were looking at 23 trading days down in that move so let's just double check to see where we are because sometimes you'll get a, a reprieve and looking at some of these things. This last high from the high down to the low, that took 17 days. Okay, that would take this. 17th day would be down in here. That would be on about November the 6th. Well, these are, sh these are shortening up. So what we have to do is we have to rely on the price, not the time. Time is very elusive, but remember... We've been told by a whole lot of people, Stan Harley, Norm Winsky, Shane Smolian, uh, Bill Meridian, and I can't remember the other one. Uh, I'm sure he's right on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. But they said that's what we want to be looking at is late October, uh, early November. And that's what, we're, that's what we're shooting for. Late October comes on uh, Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday, and November comes on Wednesday. So we want to be watching that. So that's why we want to be paying attention to this level here in Apple. Okay, one of the other stocks that uh, folks had an interest in, and we want to talk about that. I remember, folks, I did not make this stuff up. This was stuff that I had already planned in here. There's your there's your uh, Tesla right here. You can see here. Here's where we're looking at that 192. We're trading at 206 right now. That's the ABCD. It's trading right at the 50% level just a few days ago, but I believe we're going to get to this level without any trouble around between 192 and 180 is what I think it'll do. You'll see, you, you notice here how the gap, when it gaps down like that through the ABCD, that's a very common occurrence. And folks, we have a reasoning for figuring that out. Let me show you why. If you have your AB leg right here and your CD leg right there, you know that when it gaps through there, it's going to go at least... 1.27 or 1.618 there, there's a simple rule you see this distance of the gap here that's from uh, 241 down to here that's 230 with a gap ten dollars if you add ten dollars to this price right here 225 subtract it it's going to take you right down here folks it's where it's going to get to right there all i have to do to prove that is to come up here bada bing bada boom move this over 1618 Let's see how close we get to this thing. Maybe this stuff does work after all. Oh, there it is right there. So that's what you're looking at in Tesla. So we'll see. It's already hit it once. I think it's going to come down and get it again without too much trouble, given the fact that we've got all these things moving. And then finally, the last one that seemed to be uh, – see, I did Apple. Where is Amazon here? I know I did Am. That was one of the ones I covered. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I can't find Amazon. Let me see if I can get this corrected here. Uh, set up. I got a cascade. I think I got it in here. Up, 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 up. There it is right here. Same thing in Amazon. Remember, I was over there Sunday when this was happening and said, got a real strong idea that we're going to get come down to this level here in Amazon. And everybody said, well, the earnings are going to be too good. There's where, the, there's where we were on Sunday. The earnings were going to be really good. Well, the earnings weren't as good as anybody thought. And we came down just for kicks and giggles. You see this little move right here? Let's just go down to an hourly chart and see if it happens to be one of our favorite numbers. Yes, Johnny, I know, I know. You got your placard up there at 0 .382, but uh, unfortunately, Johnny, not this time. It is going to be, it looks like, exactly 61% or 
pretty much right on the money. Uh, seven, right, here's the 61% retracement, and now we're heading down. So keep an eye uh, on Amazon because I believe we're heading down a little lower uh, to this level right here, which is not far away. Uh, well, it's not very far away at all. It's only $9 away. If you do what you did yesterday and today, you're going to be there by, um, see, we are tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday. In three days, we should get there without any trouble at all. And if we look at our time and price thing, the last time we had a big move down in Amazon, which was in Hector was a pup, which was a long time ago. Let's get this ready here. There's your high right here. The number of trading day downs in that group was uh, nine, nine trading days down. So we're so, well. This is already past nine right now because we're I think at the ninth day right now. The ninth day was uh, yesterday, so it's already exceeded it. So here again, that's why time is so elusive. You got to look at the price. The price is 112, 11164. So let's take a break. More to come. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, for some reason, I am getting a little bit of a problem here. Hold on one second. I have to, I'm showing uh, December here. Uh, 
Whoa, 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 what's going on? Oh, one is the NASDAQ and one is the S&P. Try thinking about it a little differently, Larry. One's trading at 14,000, the other at 4,000. Okay, let's take a look at the S&P here. I've already pointed out the 382s. There was your your big 382 today. And then, of course, we come down, make a couple of small ones here. You can see uh, from your high that you make right in here. You, there's your second one right there, comes right in at the 382, and now we're, we're still going lower. We're gonna get somewhere around, looking at the daily here in the E-mini, folks, we're not very far away. Uh, another day or two, we should be right there, which is around 4,100 to 40, 4,100, excuse me, 40, 90 to 4,100. 1.618 is 4114, so it's, this is gonna be the zone of what we're gonna be looking at. We're going to be watching here. We have this eclipse now. Now, let's, let's just do something fun. I know people, some people don't like astrology. And, folks, I like it. I just don't understand a lot of it. The one thing I do know and understand, and you folks know what that is, that's AB equals CD, and that will get you to the promised land. Look at this, folks. We're sitting exactly at the 61% retracement here in the S&P right here at uh, 4150. 4147 is the number. Uh, our low so far today is 41.46. So whether that's going to be a low or not, someone just asked me, am I going to buy it there? Uh, no, folks, I'm not. I'm here working. Plus, I got a tiny bit of jet lag, but I'm going to be waiting for this one right here. If we go back, to, and I like to, the easy way to do this for me, and this is a cycle program that is in here that uh, my good friend uh, uh, Al Larson uh, got me excited about, and also Ed Dobson. He had the guy, uh, Jim Hurst, build this into this program so that you can measure from low to high and high to low and stuff like that. So that's all this little tool is. Let's just don't even do that. Let's just count it. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17 days down. So we should be 17 days. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 takes you to Tuesday. So that's what we're looking at potentially for Tuesday. We know that the number is 4147. If you don't believe these dudes that do these algorithmic trading knows that number, then you are totally wrong. But all we're going to do now is... It's because I can do this cycle program. I'll just show you what it does. There's the cycle program. I go up here, and instead of changing this, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do the moon phases, okay? there. Then you'll see right down here where you have a full moon. Let, let's just get this. Uh, if I take this out of the way, what will happen is all this stuff will disappear, and I don't want it to disappear. Remember, we're looking at new moons and full moons. You see this right here? That is a new moon. You see, that's one day off of the high. Do you see that right there? So you go back and look at the next full moon. There's the next full moon right there. You see it with that little thing shaking at the bottom? That's one day off, okay? You go to the next one. Here's the next, uh, the next new moon, one day off. Look what we got coming here, boys and girls. What do we call this, boys and girls? Johnny's got his placard up. It says Monday, and that's what we're going to be watching for a potential low. There's your new moon high, one day off, but... We don't trade on new moons and full moons, do we, boys and girls? No, we trade on patterns. So pattern ratio tells us that we should wait until that time. If this happens right at this number, it's a, a minor coincidence. The fact that we moved 10 points since I pointed that out, I don't know if it means anything. It must because it stopped exactly at 0.618, and these dudes know those numbers. There's no question at that. Let's see the la Well, there you can see the 78% level right here. That had to be something pretty important, didn't it? Let's move there from low down to the high. And there it is, right there, within two points of the exact 786. So that's why it's important. Anyway, that's what we're going to be looking at here. I'm going to be doing a live program here on the 15th of November, I believe. I think that's the day we've got pointed out. And I think we'll have a lot of fun pointing out some of these things on little time and price and stuff like that. But we're, we're due for a really good bottom in here, folks. The last good bottom we had right here, look at this. We went from, let's just measure it here. We went from, we'll move it over here. I'm going to see 4,200 right there. Oh, stop it, Larry. Yeah, there's 4,200. We rallied 200 handles, folks. That's $10,000. Okay, the one before that was right there. How much did it rally? $10,000. So we get to this, we rallied $10,000. We're going to get up in here somewhere. So that's what I think we'll be looking at. Whether it'll be a long time in coming, don't know what the price is going to be, but we're going to look at the time and put the patterns together, and that'll give us a pretty good idea 
of uh, what we're looking at. Like I mentioned, tomorrow, Shane Smolian will be uh, our guest, and it'll always be uh, a lot of fun. Folks, I know I just said 41 uh, 46 on this was the low. The low is 41.47. That is a function that these algorithmic traders flat know these numbers. If you don't think that they do, you're being very, very naive. They, they can't stop at these levels without some type of help. Let's just move down to a small, small time frame like four minute and see if there was a. Oh, look at this. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Let's move this up here. Look at this, folks. What do you call this? This is one. This is two. This is three. That's called a three drive to a bottom pattern. And right at there's your 61% retracement on the daily. Bada bing, bada boom. There you are right there. So there's your ABCD. There's your 1.27 expansion. There's your 61% retracement. How much should we rally? Well, look how far we rallied the last time. We went from 51 all the way up, we rallied 12 points. We've already done 12 already. We've done 12 in uh, 12 minutes. So that tells us we're probably going to go. The most we, if this is the bottom, this thing will take off like a, you know, a stripe of duck. But I don't know if it's going to do that. What I will be watching for is it, if it gets above, this is where the shorts will start to get a little bit panicked, is if we start getting above 4160. 4160 is bigger than any rally that we've had so far. And it's also right at the 78% level. So for, let me put that beeper in right there. If you get above there, that means we've got a chance to have a pretty good rally. Now, how much could the rally be today? Well, this has been coming down pretty hard. So let's just take a look at the next big, you know, the Mio Magic number. There was the high from early morning. So uh, we're at 41.59 right now. We shouldn't get any higher than, there's your 382 sitting right there. 41.68, and we're at 41.58. We start getting above here, uh-oh, and especially if we get above here. So that's the zone where the shorts will say, uh, maybe this number means something. Whether it does or not, you know, that remains to be seen, but it does in my book because I look at these patterns and I look at these numbers, and that's what I try to do. You see on this little, this is a little four-minute chart, but see, if you're waiting for that number, and I happen to be watching it, you'll notice it took, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bars to come down to make this level. Then we rally up, and now it's going to be an equal bottom. How many times? Ten days? Ten, ten four-minute periods? Forty minutes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It did it eight periods this time. Remember, price is more important than time for us because price is too elusive. We don't know the exact price. We do know pretty much what the exact time is. If that Fibonacci number was 4147, somebody out there in finance land must have knew it. Knew it. <laughs> you let the old tear old Indiana lingo out there, boy. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, so we're going to take a look at the bond market here. Uh, last night, you can see we came down and touched the 78% level of the low we made back on the 22nd. The rally that we had, which was three points, pretty much straight up, and a stop to within a 15 points, a, a pips of the uh, th th Fibonacci number here, 382. Then, of course, we went lower, and then last night we stopped exactly at the 78% level right there. Now, if that's the case, that's going to set up a very nice ABCD pattern. Folks, long term, you better start thinking of higher interest rates all over the world because they are coming. That's it. Now, you notice this gives us an ABCD up here to about 111.16, uh, somewhere in that ballpark. The last time we had a rally, which was back here, it should be equal to pretty much what we're looking at here. So if you mark that up, you'll see it goes just a little bit uh, lower than the last one. You'll see that's where... Uh, the S&P just hit 61. That tells us that the trend has changed, folks. Uh, we'll, let, let's do, do this one here, folks. Now nah, i got to turn the damn thing off. Hold on one second. There's, <laughs> that's what I get for putting on alerts, folks. Hold on a second here. Oh, Larry, where are you here? Somewhere in here. Here it is. See, we've already popped up here. It's telling us that we're moving higher. So that tells us. Now, when we get above this one, if we do, that's when uh, that's when the fat lady might start to sing and we bought them a couple days early but we'll have to wait and see right now this is this is nothing this is just people you know kibitzing back and forth it's higher than we've been in any rally here in the last hour so that's a good part that it's rallied and not only that it's still two and a half hours to go in the day let's get back to the moment of hand which is the treasury bonds we want to see what's going to happen here we're using the same theory okay now we had the 78 percent level we've rallied up quite a bit today this is one day's action get this out of the way and what you want to do is you want to see the last high that you made back here which was a big 382 and that'll come in uh, so it's already come in right there, but the 61% retracement comes in right where we want to be a seller. That's where the trend is down, folks. No question about this. It's been down for two and a half years. You remember when they told us about negative interest rates? There's your ABCD pattern right here. I know there's nobody still listening because if it was like the London group, every, half the group left by the first uh, – uh, a third of the group by the first day, two-thirds by the second day, and I was home – by the third day and glad to be there folks glad to be there didn't bother don't bother me at all don't bother me at all okay let's move on here 
By the way, if you're in the Skype thing, do not Skype me while I'm on the radio show, folks, unless it's an absolute emergency because the whole world can see it. And if I owe you money, it's going to take me time to send it to you. Hold on. Let's look at this. This is what we're looking at. 111.16, folks. That is a four-day rally in a bear market. There's no other way to look at this thing. I don't care how you look at it. We'll look at it on the daily here. Bonds are weak. And they're going to stay weak, folks. How long? I don't know. They've gone, well, there's some few, a few uh, longer time periods down here that we're looking at right here, which is at 107.06. We got down to 107.03. So this should be the maximum rally here in the territory. And this, I really believe this one, that this will be the maximum rally, be 123. Stop and think, folks. 123 from where we are right now, hello, operator. That's $13,000. Can you imagine if they start to squeeze the bonds or people say, gee, we better make a flight to quality in bonds one more time? Wow, could be really big. Moving on that thought, let's just take a look at the high-grade bond because we talked about that. These are the bonds that help run the oil business. That's HYG, I think is what they call it, EFGH. There it is right there. We were looking at this on the weekly, see if there's, oh, there's been a sign that it has some, some type of life. It's actually rallied for two days. Let's see where we rallied to. See, we had a, if you remember the weekly, remember this weekly is broken down really badly. Now we're starting to rally back. So if we go back to the daily, don't trade this, just showing you how interest rates work. We want to see what the next 382, look at this. There's your 382 right here. So we're probably going to have another one here. So we've got a lower low, right? So we got to recalculate high down to the low and there's what you should get to in your high grade bonds would be right about there up about another point and a half and these are high yielding bonds because that means that they have uh their junk bonds actually lower yielding bonds are higher quality okay that's what we're paying attention to okay that covers that someone's asked a question about um walmart we were looking at walmart a long time ago why oh i know why i know why let's get it Walmart starts with a W, doesn't it? But it's WMT. Now, there it is right here. Oh, I know it was a possible head and shoulders. There it is. There it is. Actually, folks, it went up. Let's see if it took out that right shoulder. Yes, it did. Let's move over. There it is right there. There's your shoulder right here. Okay, there's your head right here. And you did go above it, so that means that this is a failed head and shoulders pattern, folks. So this could be bullish. So see, it should not have been above 163. It got to 163, and a half, 164, trading at 160 right now. But to, to follow the rules of Edwin Lowe, Edward, Edward Lowe, Edgar, Lowe, I can't even think of Andrew, not Andrew Lowe. Yeah, Andrew Lowe of MIT. Sorry about that, Andrew. Uh, anyway, that's uh, there's your head and shoulders pattern. He said the left shoulder should be lower than the right shoulder it was here the last time we were on then we went down and then we went back up so that is a head and shoulders pattern failures even though it's still above where you would have got in that's not good so this would have been a failure you should have taken a loss on that one so that's why i'm looking at that way this is actually a pretty strong stock compared to all the others folks look at this this is pretty strong even on the pullback here the only thing we could do was to pull right down to a uh 382 retracement at uh, 158 that would have been off the this this would have been the off the right shoulder here if you sold it that 160 uh, 162 it only got to 158 only down four points and then of course it went back up but here again that's risk control that's what you want to be watching but again let me go through this again there's your left shoulder there's your head right here here's your right shoulder and you notice that the right shoulder once it goes higher than the left shoulder Tells you that there's problem in River City. Now, I would have certainly wouldn't have lost very much here, I would think, because if you got a four point profit and you see this, you don't want to mess with it. You've been out about break even, but you know, maybe you take a loss. It would have been small, but that's that's how it goes. Like I say many, many times, folks, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. And that's what you want to be worrying about. Okay? That's the main thing. Focus on your loss. The profits are going to be there when they uh, when the fat lady finally sings, and I 
Oh, boy, there's something woke. You can take the new Lilly drug. Tell them that you know me. Maybe they'll give you a month's supply free. And I need the pills more than anybody else, so it doesn't mean anything. And I certainly didn't mean anything if I hurt anybody's feelings. And if I did, I, I certainly apologize because I don't want to go to jail. Okay, let's move on here. we got to take a break here, I believe. I think we got to pay a few bills. Oh, we got 57 sec 47 seconds left, and I don't have any other questions. Let's take a quick look at the old silver market because uh, it's still acting pretty good. We have a little bit of a correction going here right now. Uh, we got all the way up to the 61% retracement of that last high. There's where we were right there. We went uh, a couple pennies above it. Now we've backed off a little bit. We probably got a little ABCD. Let's take a look. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, since we're micromanaging this S&P, let's look at it together. There's the three drive to a bottom that we saw. That's just a minor. I mean, it's, it's you can see it, but it's not a, you know, you got a double top. It's not a perfect ABCD, but this is a 61% retracement on the weekly. That's why it's important. The key level to watch here is the 382 of the high of the day. There's our early morning high right after the market opened. 
Okay, there's your 382 coming in right here. Once we start getting above here, if we do, and I think we will, that's going to tell these boys, uh-oh, we did something wrong. Frankly, I'd be looking to be a seller right here if I were trading, and today I'm not. I've had one hell of a run, and I'm not going to stand in the way of it. Anyway, that's what we're watching here, so pay attention. The last one we need to talk about here is the euro. Those of you who were the last trade we did for the group here, we were watching this on the long-term daily. We had an absolute perfect A, B, C, D. As you can see, there it is right there. There's your A, B, C, D coming in at you'll never guess where. Some people are guessing where it might be, but we'll just see how close we come. And there it is right there, Mr. Not 2, not Mr. 8, not Mr. 3. But it's Mr. 3A2. So when we hit the objective, I said last night in the email that I sent out with the video, cover at that 786 level. And we came within, uh, excuse me, 61% level right at one, uh, I said 1055. So it's trading 1055 right now. So that's where I would have cussed it. It's three day down in a bear market. And that is a possibility that we have a 135 pattern in here. So we need to pay very, very close attention to that. It was the 78% level of the C point. You see it stopped it uh, a little bit below it. So strong support in here. We're going to see what it does from here. But I will be watching and for a 382 rally on the long-term daily here to get short. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. May God bless and may all your stops not be hit and all your profits are maximized. I just made that up myself. <laughs>